Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. So we're still stuck in this in-between time, the end of FC24 and the beginning or almost the beginning of FC25. And as I was having a bit of a think on what happened last year, it really dawned on me that the EA mistakes were really bad last year. We had some of the biggest mistakes ever in FC24, and that worries me as we get closer to FC25. What kind of mistakes are we going to see this year? Are they going to get even bigger than last year? Because that's kind of the trend. And, you know, in FC24, we noticed a lot of the mistakes were happening kind of from areas that were new to the game. And what new parts of FC25 are going to bring us those mistakes? I want to get us a leg up, talk about EA mistakes that may be coming in FC25, just to get ourselves prepared and kind of look back again at the 24 mistakes that were just mad so if you guys are excited for fc25 make sure to drop a thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you are new now let's just talk about ea mistakes in general for a second because there's been ea mistakes for a really long time this will always be a thing with how much is going on in this game especially now versus how it used to be there's going to be mistakes guys it's just kind of it's how it's going to be, to be completely honest. Now, the mistakes that we used to have versus the mistakes that we have now, completely different, right? This is FIFA 18, Timo Werner, Juventus, the Brazilian Footmiss SBC. Obviously, he was released with the wrong league and the, or sorry, the wrong nation and the wrong club. He was at Leipzig and he's obviously German. He's not Brazilian, but this one will go down in the history of FIFA mistakes because this was so hilarious. Anybody who got this card, it was kind of crazy. I think it actually may have been like taken away from your account and like disappeared and you had to go do the new SBC. But that was like how bad the mistakes were in FIFA 18. Or like in, was this FIFA 18 or FIFA 19 where we had this Sancho player of the month who was released as a left mid first when the card originally was supposed to be a right mid. Like it was even the right mid in the picture. Like that's how bad the EA mistakes were back then. And then fast forward to now in FC24, where we have EA giving out 9 million coin team of the year Messi to tons of people and claiming that only 0.7% of the ultimate team uh, user base was affected by it. That was not true. And then the League One champs player picks. We guys, we know about these. Or even when EA gave back millions and millions of coins and it really messed up the market for months on this game. Think about the gravity of those mistakes versus, oh, you messed up the league, you messed up the nation sort of thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, mistakes have gone from, like, this level to, like, this level. And I have to ask the question, why? Why have the mistakes gotten so crazy? And I think one of the reasons that it's happened like this is because we have a crazy quantity of content now. Guys, we have objectives. We have evolutions. We have SBCs. So many different places where EA are adding stuff into the game constantly, which we love. FC24, probably the biggest in terms of most quantity of content all time. Some of the craziest content as well that we've ever seen in SBCs, evolutions, and objectives. Of course, Evo's being brand new. It was a crazy year of content on FC24 for the quantity of it, for sure. And with EA releasing so much, that's just more opportunities to mess up, if you think about it. Back in FIFA 18, this was the biggest mistake, or one of the biggest mistakes that we had that we remember, because we had like, what, three or four SBCs a week, and we had a couple objectives a week, and it was the gameplay that carried the game, and less about the cards and having SBCs and upgrade packs to do all the time like it is now in this game. The game was just a bit different back then. Now... I'm not sitting here and defending EA and saying, oh, these mistakes are okay because, you know what, you know, there's so much more content, there's going to be more mistakes. No, I, I think that there still should be way less mistakes in this game. And the mistakes that really make me the most upset are the ones that involve packs and player picks. When there's a player pick that is out with incorrect pick weight or pack weight, and then people get an advantage if they're on it content or whenever it happens, and then other people don't because they take the player pick away. That's probably the most common mistake that they make, but it's the one that makes, I think all of us even, the most upset because it's like, wow, EA did this, which is like crazy, and you had a crazy opportunity to pack some card, but then only a certain percentage of people who are on at that time get that you know advantage, and it's always, that's the biggest mistake that causes the most tension and frustration in the community, and I completely understand it. So I know EA aren't perfect. We as all of us are not perfect, right? So there's going to be mistakes, but I think just how big the mistakes have gotten and of course how many there are at the same time, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and more often and more often. But it's some of those things that we just talked about and some of these mistakes that we looked at that when I look back on FC24 and I think ahead into FC25, 
it worries me a little bit, right? Guys, we had arguably the worst team of the year ever, the most frustrating team of the year ever. While some of the content was still so good, you think about the Sawa SBC, the Bruno Fernandez SBC, some of that stuff. Team of the year will always be remembered by that Messi, EA changing the pack weight seemingly from when the individual positions were out to when the full team was out. I think this team of the year is probably going to be remembered as one of the worst ever. You had an unlimited pack glitch that was going on as well at the exact same time for people who were creating new accounts. And you had gameplay glitching with like players heads being swapped out with their hands and you had the goal going crazy all which directions. It was a really, really wild team of the year, like a crazy team of the year that we have never seen before. And it's going to go down as probably the craziest because of all those mistakes, right? If EA is messing up the most gigantic promo of the whole year, that is really not a good sign. Now, some other stuff that happened during FC 24 that makes me worried for 25 is the market stuff, the coin wipes, the market bans. There was a lot of frustration this year around market bans because so many of them were undue and a lot of them as well revolved around silver cards and bronze cards specifically for evolutions. And that's the next point that I want to make, guys. Evolutions, a brand new aspect of FC24, a brand new piece of content, brand new feature. And what was glitched about this? A lot of stuff. Even you look at the evolutions themselves. Remember when we had evolution glitches where this bronze card Adopo could be made through an evolution chain up to a 98 rated card with three or four playstyle pluses? There were guys that had cards with five playstyle pluses from evolution glitches in like February. This card was extinct from like January, middle of January until the middle of February because of evolutions that were out that would make this guy go absolutely crazy. And there were so many other cards and so many other players that people glitched out because of the evo chain glitches remember this evolution glitch where we had the peps legacy combined with something else that made this joao Cancelo. this is when the whole um, evolution glitch was really first figured out because this made a two play style plus 93 rated Cancelo card that was better or on par with team of the years and this was even before team of the year came out and those were the first two play style plus cards released and packed people were creating insane evo cards around that january to march time frame before ea fixed this whole like multiple evo chain situation like that was a new feature to fc24 that had a lot of mistakes with it and as i look forward to fc25 i think that's something that we really have to look at as well is what are some of the new features that they're bringing to the game that are probably going to bring some mistakes with it because that's often where we see those mistakes is in the new features of the game now when we look at the new stuff that's coming to fc25 the first thing we think of is rush okay what kind of mistakes could there be in rush well there's events in Rush. There could be mistakes in the requirements. There could be mistakes in how you choose your team in Rush. Maybe it allows you to put somebody in who doesn't technically fit um, whatever event you're going for. Maybe it's the Rush points. That's probably the biggest thing about Rush, right, is what do you get from playing it? Well, we still don't know a whole lot because EA's got to tell us more, but there's Rush points that you get. Maybe there will be like unlimited glitches with this or something related to glitches with that like some of the stuff it's even hard to fathom because we don't fully understand these modes but we just know ahead of time to look at these brand new modes that are coming to the new game because that's historically been where the glitches have been in previous years games of course evolutions 24 like we just mentioned play styles in 24 as well think about the uh trickster plus glitch that was a brand new feature in fc24 as well Playstyle Plus is the Trickster Plus glitch. Um, you know, I guess there weren't a ton of other glitches with Playstyle Pluses that I can think of off the top of my mind. Goalkeepers not having Playstyle Pluses, that's kind of a glitch in its own self because I don't think that was promised to us at the beginning of 24, but it was something that we were expecting. Uh, we never had evolutions for goalkeepers, right? So that's kind of a Playstyle Plus and an evolutions glitch kind of combination thing so that's the sort of stuff that we don't even know until we get into the game there's going to be some sort of glitch with rush it's undoubtedly going to happen fciq like you might think oh nate this is tactics there's never glitches with tactics i almost guarantee you that there is going to be some sort of glitch or update that has to happen in fc25 this year because of the new roles role pluses and role plus pluses just because it's almost like a play style addition in itself to a player if there were glitches with play styles there's going to be glitches with the ways that players run but the problem with this is it's going to be hard to find out so it's going to take some of those guys that are really in depth with gameplay like maybe testing a player side by side with role pluses i don't know how it's going to happen but i would almost be 
like certain that there's going to be some sort of mistake this year with roll plus pluses maybe a card showing that it has a roll plus plus but it actually doesn't have it in game that sort of thing could be a glitch with this as well so we're, of course we're learning about fciq but that's just my guess there's going to be some mistakes there and then we talk about evolutions again evolutions are getting even crazier in fc25 there's this new upgrade system that ea have talked about and of course the new cosmetics where you can change the uh, card type card design this doesn't feel like it's something super crazy in terms for glitches but maybe there will be certain evolutions that you can do that will give you a card design that maybe would glitch your card out in the future this is the one though guys that i think is going to make evos even more susceptible to glitches is that evolutions can have maximum limits on certain attributes so now even though ea haven't described the situation fully to us yet it seems like if your player has too much pace to fit the evo they can still go into the Evo. They just don't get their pace upgraded. That's kind of what it sounds like with some of this stuff. And that just sounds like mistakes for days. It sounds like, oh, there's going to be somebody you're going to put into an Evo and they're not supposed to get a pace boost because they don't fit it, but they get one anyway. And then we have absolutely insane cards that weren't supposed to be in the game at all. In, in the game, in that sort of situation. You know what I'm saying? I feel like there's going to be more situations with Evos this year. Maybe the glitches and the chaining of them will be back. Maybe EA will have fixed that and kept that fix from 24 to 25. Like, I can just see Evos this year with the new stuff creating crazy cards way too early in the game that's going to make a really annoying situation kind of like last year. I don't feel like the Adopo and the Evo glitching situation last year was that crazy. Like it didn't make its rounds and being crazy popular. Like it was popular, but also the fact that some of the most glitched cards you couldn't buy because they were extinct on the market, I think inhibited how many of them were actually there. But I really think that Evos are going to be a really big mistake ridden part of the game this year as well. And then of course, guys, the number one most common mistake part of FC24, and honestly, FIFA's of old too. I was thinking back to FIFA 23, just to go on this quick little tangent. I think in FIFA 23, we had more quantity mistakes than FC24. If you remember in FIFA 23, there was a point, and maybe it was April, or maybe it was um, in May during Team of the Year, but there was a point where we literally had, I think it was three weeks in a row, and it might have been might have been even three days in a row where we had a glitched player pick or some sort of pack or player SBC that was mistaken or glitched. It was like, it was every single week we had a glitch for like four or five weeks during that time. It was crazy. I think we had more mistakes in 23, but I think we had bigger mistakes that made us more upset and mad in 24. But this is where we have most of our mistakes all the time. Think about it. There was even that like 86 plus, 87 plus hero mistake. This is the most recent one where the 91 and the 93 plus icon picks in the end of FC 24 we're giving out the Sawas. Remember the Sawa player pick glitch where her card was coming out of like all the icon picks at a very too high of a rate. That's the same situation that happened with League One player picks, the same situation that happened with Messi. It's the same kind of concept where the player pick pack luck is juiced way too high or there's something that is being given out from a player pick or a pack that is incorrect. That is the most common mistake that happens every single year. It happens multiple times a year. And, you know, of course, EA, it's technically not a mistake, right? Like these picks we're giving out. Like I love the community notes now on X, Twitter, because it's just, it's straight banter. It's amazing, right? In fact, there was no issue. These player picks were delivering exactly what they said they were going to do. EA just wanted to change the odds on them because it was giving out stuff that was too good, which I understand for a little bit of it, but especially like at this end game stage, like just let it fly. You know what I'm saying? So that's always going to be a point of contention because that's always going to be an EA mistake as well. There's going to be coding issues, it seems, because this has happened for the last three, four years in the game now, since we've had a lot more player picks and packs released in SBCs. It's going to continue to happen in the future as well. And the problem with those mistakes, the ones that happen the most common for me uh, with those player picks and packs, the thing that I hate about it the most is that the precedent that it sets. It sets a precedent that if you're not on the game every single day looking or in the back of your mind even thinking about what those glitches could be, 
then you're going to be a step behind because other people are going to be on the game. They're going to be checking content right at the content drop time every single day, and they may not miss the glitch. They might be able to take advantage of it. Whereas you, if maybe you're in, even across the world and content time for you is like 1 a.m. or 3 a.m. and you're in like New Zealand or Australia, and it's like, yeah, I'm sleeping when content drops. So yeah, I'm not going to be on for any of those glitches because in a couple of hours, they're patched and I'm not even awake by then. Or if you're working or stuff like that, I totally understand the frustration with that. But that's the biggest problem with the glitches on this game is that it forces you to feel like you have to tune into the content every single day because you never know what mistake EA is going to make next, right? But I will tell you this. This has been a theme that we have seen. There's mistakes that happen in the early game. And usually when EA make mistakes, um, they kind of happen in like sequences. It's like, okay, they make one and then you got to be locked in for the next couple days because there might be another one that springs up right after that because sometimes they just seem to like like bang bang it's like a one two punch back to back hitter the mistakes or glitches come in so that's one thing i would kind of mention as well but you know you can never prepare for it it's just kind of one of those things where you stay if you're playing the game you kind of pay attention for it a little bit and we know what to look for with some of the stuff too if you're like in stream watching the stream one day when a new player pick comes out and we see like oh shoot this player picks giving out a lot of messies like we knew something was up during team of the year when we packed three or four messies on stream and we were like bewildered and we were like, what is going on? And then we go onto Twitter and we see that the whole Twitter timeline is just messy, messy, messy. We knew there was a glitch. We knew there was a mistake, right? Didn't take that long to figure out. We were tweeting about it. People figured it out. They got on to try to do the player pick before it was taken away, that sort of thing. But again, I just don't like the precedent that it sets. Um, because I'm going to miss stuff too. I've missed glitches. I missed the sour glitch. And at the end game, you can say, yeah, it doesn't matter as much, but also it's going to be forgotten about in a couple of weeks anyway. So that's one thing that I would tell you as well. Um, but yeah, I just don't like the precedent that, that presses, right? And even like EA is setting that maybe without even realizing it, maybe they do realize it and they make mistakes on pur purpose. I know that's going to be some of your guys' thoughts. I honestly think that EA would love it if they could make zero mistakes, but there's so much complexities, I guess, to the game in the code and all the things that we don't understand about this game that they do because they're making it that are going to cause these mistakes. And yeah, a million billion dollar company with all this funds and all this people to work on it. There shouldn't be mistakes. There should be checks and balances. I agree with you. 100% agree with you. But every single year, the mistakes seem to pile up and some of the same things that happened every single year happen again the next year. So we're going to expect them this year and we'll be pleasantly surprised if they don't. But this account is probably going to be busy again this year. EAFC Direct with glitches and mistakes to be tweeting out and things of compensation and YouTube titles about compensation and glitched packs to probably being discussed next year in FC 25 as well. Hopefully it's just lesser. And um, yeah, I'm going to say hopefully it's lesser, but I'm just, I'm, we're preparing for stuff that's going to happen next year as well. Preparing not in hopefulness, preparing in just expectedness of what is to come in terms of that content there. So I just wanted to make this video today because that was something I was thinking about. Like, man, I really hope that EA, some of the things they can definitely fix up. They can fix up on the market bans and the coin wipes because with evolutions, there's going to be prices that move again this year as well. And that shouldn't be happening. The player pick mistakes feels like it's going to happen every single year year but some of the other stuff i hope they can take that extra little bit of time sort some things out iron some things out and give us a more mistake free worry free and rage free fc25 so if you enjoyed the video today drop thumbs up on it comment below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new i will see you guys in another video tomorrow and we're one day closer to fc25 man if you're excited again tell me down in the comments man a lot of guys are like nah end of 24 sucks tell me if you're excited for 25 it's good to hear some of that as well and if you're new to the channel, do make sure you subscribe because we have a lot more info upcoming once EA give us more info and once we get closer to the web app and all the times where we can get onto the game for the first time. So I'll stop yapping. Have a great Sunday. It's been Nate for the account. See you guys in a video tomorrow. Peace out.